This is the 1991 Chevy S10. I'm replacing the starter. And if you can see, there's the starter. And that's a solenoid. I have one cable where there's not a nut right there. I have that removed. And to get that is a pain in the ass. You have to come in through here and then get your wrench on there. You can't get a socket in there to turn it. And you just have to take your wrench on that and turn it one little bit at a time and then turn it around and turn it one little bit at a time. And then when you get to the end, um, where are we at here? So when you get to the end, you want to take it because you have this like nub in your way. That right there, you want to take this and then you go right down here and then turn it and it'll be able to do it. Also, I took like a flat head on where the nut was and I like hit down and, and, and got it to spin. Because you can barely get your finger in there. You can kind of hand do it at the end, but to getting that positive off is a pain in the ass. And then if you can see, there's another wire, that nut right there, that's got to get off in. I'm going to have to take that off once I get the starter out, but they say that there's just no room to take the starter off first and then remove that power wire, so it's tedious, but you can get at it right there, through here. Yeah, it's a really pain, but you can do it. Then there's two 14 millimeter bolts that uh, hold the starter in. But you also need to remove a few other bolts to be able to pull the actual starter out. And to get at the, the starter here, it's a 14, these are 14s, and that one I got started. And same thing, there's just not room to get a socket in there. So I just been going just a quarter inch at a time um you can get a ratcheting one in there after you crack it loose to save you a little bit of time but then you don't want to get it stuck your ratchet stuck in here when you pull the bolt out so um so then uh, that one should be easier i'm gonna save that one for a second and then yeah that's the starter and then up yeah the wires you see are just pain to get to with it and then even when you have it pulled out um there's just not a lot of length to get them wires out. So I almost thought about just cutting the fucking wire and re reconnecting it. I might even do that. But then as you can see, I don't even know what this cover thing is here. But uh, there's two bolts there. Because then you got to move. You got to move this out of the way to drop the starter off. Otherwise, if you don't move this out of the way, it's impossible. I tried for like three hours. You have to remove these bolts and then these bolts and get this fucking thing out of the way. And then, but yeah, so right now I'm just taking out these starter bolts here. Alright, almost got this one. There's just barely any room here. Just go slow and get this one out first because it's the harder one. And then you should be able to get a socket and the extension on that one. Almost got this here. Let's see, let me, uh, you get the idea though. Yeah, so even I have this all the way undone and you still can't get the bolt out. So when you install the starter, you have to put this started up, get it up in there before you put it in. See that? How it's hitting? So when you reinstall it. This is just starter. It's just the, the setup of this fucking thing is just the dumbest shit ever. But yeah, so I'll just keep that in mind. And then I'm gonna take this one out here. And these are 15s. And that's 14 and 14. Alright, so I have it all unbolted. The two bolts, and then I got the four bolts off that cross member out. Coming in here. So they're out, and those are out. 
And then here's the starter. So if you can see, you hit that, this brake thing off just to get this out of the way because you can, oh, if you can go up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need two hands. So well, before removing the starter, it'd be a good idea to have something to set it on because that's still that ground connection there. So I just set it on there and then I'm using an eight millimeter to remove that wire there. And then this is what it looks like. So it goes into there and then there's just not a lot of room to work with. A little bit of leaking. That's where it goes. So before reinstalling, mine came with the bracket. So I'm just taking note of how it goes. And then I pre-unscrewed this so I don't have to unscrew it while it's in there. So get that unscrewed first. And then it'll go in facing that way. And then... Yeah, make sure to note the location of that.